In our previous tutorial, we have seen how simple sequential chain works where we have one input and one output and in this video, we will learn how sequential chain works where we can have multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Now, let us first set our API keys. I will write here or first I will import get pass, import OS then I will call here OS dot environ and then I will set the hugging face API hugging face hub API token and then I will call here get pass dot get pass and it says invalid syntax I have to put here equal to now I'll go to my API I'll copy it from here and then paste it here let's import chat prompt template I will write here from langchain dot prompts import chat prompt template and from line chain dot chains import LLM chain and then sequential chain now let us execute our code we will create three prompts we will take the output of first prompt and give it as an input to the second prompt and then the output of the second prompt as an input to the third prompt and we will see how the answers we get. So first we will define one variable description and now I am going to copy this text from here. So this text is nothing but it is about LLM that is what is LLM and this is written in Spanish language so the task of our first prompt is going to detect the language of this uh, uh, this uh, text that we are going to pass I will execute the code here so this is in Spanish we know that but we want our LLM to detect its language and tell us so we will uh, create three things that is first is going to be template second is going to be prompt and the third is going to be chain where we will, we will combine this template and prompt now let me create the template here template one because we are going to create three template three prompt and three chains so this is template one and the question is going to be what language is the following description and then we will pass this variable description as a placeholder then I will define prompt 1 and the prompt is going to be chat prompt template and from this I will call the function from template and inside this I will pass this template 1 and then I will call or I will create chain 1 where I am going to take template 1 and prompt 1 and also LLM model so first I need to create an LLM model I will first create it here from lang chain import hugging face hub and then I will define here LLM is equal to hugging face hub first parameter is going to be repo ID and then I will copy this mixture model from here and I will paste it here now here in chain I will call this LLM chain first parameter is LLM and this is going to be our LLM the second parameter is prompt 
and it is going to be prompt one and the third parameter is output key and here we can write detect language so whatever answer we will get that will be stored here in this output key detect language and then we will pass this output key as an input to our template 2 so this is our template 1 let us execute our code now I'm going to create template 2 I can just copy this template 1 from here paste it here I will make it template 2 and then here I will change the template and now I will write here translate the description to English language and then this will take this description here then this is going to be prompt 2 and then this will be template 2 this is going to be chain 2 and here also it will be prompt 2 and now the output key we are going to write as English language because now we will get this translated into English language and then we will store this as an English language and then we will pass this English language as an input to our prompt tree. And here I have to pass detect language, not description, because the output of our first prompt is going to be the input of uh, input to the uh, second prompt. Now let us execute our code. Now I'll define one last template and prompt here I will copy it from here paste it here I'll make this as 3 and then I will change this and then I will write here translate it to German language and then here I will take this English language as an input here this is going to be prompt 3 and this will take template 3 here and then this is I have to make this chain 3 uh, sorry chain 2 this is fine this I have to write here chain 3 and then prompt 3 and then here I will write German language German underscore language and now I'm going to define the sequential chain where I'm going to combine these three chains I will write here result and then I will call sequential chain and inside this first I'm going to pass chain here I will write here chains or oh, let me write it here chains is equal to chain 1 chain 2 and then chain 3 the next parameter is input variables and this is going to be description 
the other parameter is going to be output variables and this is nothing but first is uh, to take language so just I'm going to copy from here and then second one is English language and then last one is German language and then I will pass verbose is equal to true to see what is happening here and here I will keep everything as description because we are going to take description as an input so I will write it here description not English language and then here also description and now let me execute this code I got validation error here description only had description okay there is some spelling mistake mm, I will just copy from here and paste it everywhere Okay, here it was the spelling mistake. I will execute this again. Okay, now let's invoke. I will write here print and then result dot invoke. And then I will write here description. So it has started chain here. It may take time, but it has already started. So here it is um, difficult to read. I am going to store this um, result in a variable and then we will read it. I will just make one variable output and then I will paste it here it has finished and now I am going to run one for loop for key value in output dot items because this output is in dictionary that is why I am writing a for loop on this dictionary print key plus and then in new line plus value this is plus and then again in new line so now here you can see we got a nice output here that we can read it so this is the description that is the original one this is in Spanish language now our first task was what language is the following description so this is the answer the description is in Spanish we got the correct answer here now second one is translate the description to English language and this is the English translation LLM large language models or large language models in Spanish are a class of artificial intelligence that uses machine learning techniques to understand and generate natural language text and so on. So this was our second task. The third task was translate it to German language and assistance says Sure, here is your text translated into German 
and this is the output in German language. So we have achieved all the tasks one by one with the help of this sequential chain. So what it does, it will take input as description. So this will remain a same for all this template. Earlier I made a mistake that I was giving it uh, the input of or the output as an input to the next template, but that was not correct. We have to keep description as it is as uh, in the template. Then we have to call this sequential chain where we have to tell the output. The first is we want to detect the language. Second is we want to convert or we want to translate it into English language. And the third one is German language. And we got the output as expected. First one was it detected the description is in Spanish. Second, it translated into English language. And third, from English language, it translated into German language. So this is how the sequential chain works. It will go one by one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.